Hey guys, I'm Chris. And I am here to bust five myths on why photographers don't switch to capture one from Lightroom. So I've got my notes here today so that I can stay on topic, um, but wanted to kind of break down a couple of myths or uh, friction points on why someone wouldn't make the switch from Lightroom to Capture One and maybe kind of do my best to convince you that it is something that you may want to consider. So, okay. So myth one is Capture One is too complicated. Well, you're intelligent. You've bought a new camera before, you, maybe you've switched brands, you've had to learn a new menu system, you pick up uh, new tools in your tool belt, whatever. Um, hopefully, you can figure out a new software. Um, if you watched my last video, and if you haven't, check it out. I don't know how these cards work. This is only my third video, so please, again, be kind. Um, I'm doing my best to try to bring some knowledge to you. So. Anyways, if you watched my last video, then you saw that you can really customize Capture One to work in your workflow. So there, I used the word customize a million times in that video when I went back and rewatched it. Uh, but that really is true. It's totally modular. You can set it up in a way that really feels like Lightroom. It'll be really familiar to you. Um, and you can save workspaces and so, you know, different uh, times that you're in Capture One, whether you're editing or tethering or whatever, um, culling, you can set up different workspaces. So you can set it up in a way that makes sense for you. So it's not overly complicated. It use your own brain and create a workflow that, that works. So um, it's got fantastic tools. You can put them where you want. And I think honestly, it's it's not too complicated. It's, it's different and you'll need to learn it. There's a learning curve for sure but uh, you're smart, you got this. And that's why, again, I started this channel to help you guys. So um, myth number two, I'll lose all my Lightroom edits. This one's kind of true. So there is a way to in export a catalog from Lightroom into Capture One, um, but foundationally Capture One kind of has two different uh, formats for reviewing your images. They have a catalog and a session. Catalogs are going to operate similar to a Lightroom catalog, so you can import Lightroom catalog to a Capture One catalog. One of the powerful tools in Capture One is sessions, and it is a way to structure your shoots so that um, you would create a new session for each shoot. Um, so if you were doing a, uh, say a wedding and it's bride and groom, you would do a session for that bride and groom. Um, or if it's a commercial job, it could be, you know, XYZ company, uh, spring, summer 25, and you would do a session and all the images for that shoot would live in that session by itself. We'll deep dive into sessions later. Um, but just to kind of say, there is a way to import your Lightroom catalog into a Capture One catalog, but I haven't used a catalog in 10 years. I don't even know the limitations in there anymore. I'm gonna to have to do my own research to kind of share with you guys the differences between the two because I've used sessions for so long. Uh, so that'll say, I really would start fresh with new sessions in Capture One. So as a myth, Sure, this one's going to be a little bit of a friction, uh, but again, if you just absolutely want to import everything over, you can, uh, but I would kind of start fresh and I would keep them kind of living in their own space until you get comfortable and maybe pull images over into new sessions once you kind of get a good working knowledge and understanding of, of Capture One and then you want to kind of backfill your old work. Um, myth number three. So Capture One doesn't have presets like Lightroom. Kind of. They do. They call them uh, styles. So instead of a preset, it's a style. There is not a way to export a preset from Lightroom and import it into Capture One. The engines that power the two programs are very different. The way that they manage color is very different. Uh, white balance is at a different point in the pipeline. There's all kinds of differences between the two. So there is not a one-to-one -one export 
um, a Lightroom preset into Capture One. That being said, you can build out your look. You know what contrast is, you know what your tone curves are, you know, create your look and save it as a style. Um, it does have layers, which is amazing. So you can build um, all kinds of different modifiers on your style if you want. Um, it's super, super powerful. We'll definitely gonna spend some time on styles in Capture One in future videos. Um, so yes, a friction point here, it's not gonna import, but you do have the ability to build your own. And there are platforms like Very Good Preset that I am the Capture One developer for um, that offer styles to kind of get you up and running. So that was something you were interested in. Um, I'll leave a link in the description, but they are there, but you will lose your Lightroom resets. So that one's a friction point for sure. Um, so we're gonna move on. Myth number four, it's too expensive. Well, if you're a professional photographer or tools, they all cost money. I mean, it just is kind of part of the deal. Lenses, cameras, Photoshop, it's all, it's, it's just expensive, right? If you're a hobbyist, I'm sorry, but if you're a professional, you know, pony up for the tools that you need. That being said, uh, Capture One does offer both a subscription model and a perpetual license. So if you want the subscription, you can do it. If you want to buy the version that is available today and just have that version, it's one time fee. Just know, you know, kind of word of warning on the perpetual license. It is the version that you buy the day that you buy it. So if there's any updates, uh, camera models are released and you buy a new camera, um, I don't believe that you get any updates whatsoever. So if you have a camera and you're very happy with it and you don't plan on updating, you know, in the near future, you can buy a perpetual license and it'll just work. Uh, they also have on the subscription side, they have a couple of tiers. Um, they've got a mobile version, they've got like a pro version. There's another version I'll throw up kind of a screen of, uh, you can see, yeah. Um, and then there's a studio version, which if you need the studio version, you're probably not watching this video. You know, you know that you need it. Uh, it's awesome. But anyways, so myth number five, and this is going to be the big one. Lightroom does everything that I need. Maybe so. Maybe so. I, I really take the stance and the belief that if you are siloed, if you are like a one person shop, you go out, you shoot the photos, you come in and you edit them, you export them and you deliver them to the client and you do that entire pipeline by yourself, then Lightroom might be fine for you. Um, you may be a wedding photographer, a portrait photographer, newborn event, you know, you do that whole pipeline by yourself, then Lightroom's great. If you want to move into the commercial side, if you want to work with brands and teams and stylists and creative directors and ad agencies and shoot for, for, for brands, you're using Capture One on set. And a big reason for that is tethering. So if you're unfamiliar, you have your camera, you have your tether cord, and you connect it from the camera to your computer. And as you're shooting, those images come in. And you can have a person on set. Their role can be the digitech, can also be the photographer. Um, so it could be a dedicated role or the photographer is those photos are coming in as you're shooting. You can apply your look, all your adjustments, and they'll be automatically applied to your images as you shoot them. You can also run a big monitor. You can run multiple monitors. You can tether into an iPad. Um, so you can scale up your set to be something very lightweight to just tether into an iPad and, you know, kind of do that route. I've done it and it's fantastic. Or uh, I've also been on set as the Digitech role where I have had the monitor for myself, for the photographer, another monitor run for a food stylist, another monitor run into another room where the ad agency was and the and the uh, the brand was in the other room. They were seeing the images as they were coming in. And then I handed the creative director the iPad and they were viewing the images and they were able to make their selects and their rating throughout the day. 
So at the end of the day, we had all of our selects done. Everything is saved, multiple hard drives. You hand one to the agency, you hand one to the brand, and you go about your merry way. Everything's contained in that session. And so it's not all your other shoots, all your baby photos, your personal photos. It's just that particular shoot for that brand that day. And everybody was able to review the images as you were shooting them, make sure that you had the shot before you moved on to the next one. And it's just a brilliant workflow. And that is why you use Capture One, is being able to tether and run a multiple monitors and have sessions. And that that is that is kind of the nuts and bolts of it. So if that is a space you want to get into, that is why you move to Capture One. I honestly believe that the other tools are better than Lightroom. The color management, I think, is better. The um, just overall, I like the program more. I think it does what I need better than Lightroom does. That aside, the commercial space is all about tethering. That is not a preference. That is a foundation. That is why those other friction points, like you don't have your presets or it's expensive or you're gonna lose uh, the work that you've already done, all of that you will need to justify with you wanna move into this new space of commercial photography. And that is why I started this channel was to help you guys get up to speed and understand Capture One in a way that will get you comfortable to taking those commercial jobs using the software that is industry standard on set, not being afraid to do it, and have the confidence that you can focus on your photography and do the job that you were hired to do, but your tools are gonna to be better to help you get there and achieve the results, and you're gonna have happier clients, or you're gonna be filtering into a uh, an ecosystem that this is the way that it's done. It's kind of like having to learn Photoshop. You know, if, it's just kind of a tool that you had to you had to learn if if you are retouching your images in that way. Uh, Capture One again, it's it's the commercial uh, the commercial photographer's tool. Um, and again, I know some people are going to tell me that they use Lightroom on commercial jobs, and that's great. It's great. I'm glad it works for you. But on 95 plus percent of commercial shoots. It is, you want to be able to tether and the tethering experience in Lightroom is just not up to standard. It might have gotten better. It's been a long time since I've attempted to use it, but it just, frankly, it's not a, a good system. It's not a good workflow um, and it's not widely used. Uh, so it may work for you if you're, you know, again, siloed, but once you start adding team members and, and multiple people on set and having 20, 30, 40 people all on set, you don't, you can't show the back of the screen to 30 people to make sure that you got the shot. You want to have big monitors and that's it. So anyways, I hope that was helpful. I uh, get a little rambly there at the end, but that's my, that's my five miss and um, drop a comment. So let me know what, what your biggest fear is and, and what your holdup and restriction is. And, and I'll do my best to help. And, um, you know, drop some ideas for for some videos that you would like to see to, to help you. Obviously, we're going to talk about tethering. We're going to talk about the role of a Digitech. We're going to talk about um, sessions really in depth. Uh, but anyways, check out my other video on how to get set up. And hopefully that'll help get you started. And we're going to continue this journey together. Thanks, guys.